we have got nine going out for about $230 on eBay. And then we've also got um, like $50, I think, going out on other. So the first up is this Build-A-Bear lot. So that's actually up there in this tote. And if stuff is in the house, um, it's probably been listed for a little while. So this lot is just like a big old lot of Build-A-Bear clothes. I did not feel like separating them out. So I just listed them all together and they did sell for $57. I actually got these plus um, a closet and some dolls. I'm actually almost in the profit from one dress from this lot. And these sold for $57 plus shipping, making it probably about a $40 profit. And then next in here is this treasure of Sherlock Holmes. It says it's in the shipping cabinet, which is here. And it is right here. And this one I got in a big lot. Woo, I am already in the profit on this. And this sold for $8.32 plus shipping. I am gonna go ahead and ship with you guys again today. All right, so we're gonna go put this stuff in the shed and then we're actually going to go ahead and pull what is in the shed because there are a few things that sold that have not been put up yet. So let's do that. And you guys will see, let me turn this air on low. Give us some light. All right, so this whole counter is full of stuff that I have listed but not put up. This is all from the auction buy. It's all, all of this stuff is listed and not put up that's on the counter. So I have got to get to putting that up, but let's go ahead and see what's still in here, which means it sold very fast if it's still in here. Vintage Fenton little um, fan base here sold over on Facebook for $14. Set of these Cocapelli placemats sold for 21 over on Facebook. The first set also sold on Facebook. So now I actually got paid $5 to get the Cocapelli table runner that is up under, and I'll show you guys, it's over here up under my Kachina dolls, if you see. And that's really all I wanted was the table runner. So I'm happy with that. I sold the placemats and I got my money back. We're gonna take our handy dandy Ikea bag, go pull the rest of the stuff. Then I might have to take a break and move some of this stuff so I have room to pack with you guys. And we have three going out on the other platforms, nine on eBay. So we're gonna pack a total of 12. So let's go pull the other items backwards today and we're gonna start in the little shed versus the room so let's go ahead and grab what's in here 15 we've got these vertex men's pants these sold for 27.99 i only paid two dollars for these at a yard sale and look there's space because they picked up the toolbox yesterday so that's exciting so BB-15 is here, and I believe these are the Vertex on top. Remember this brand? Kayla actually told me this brand here. The Vertex. So these are over a $22 profit from a yard sale. So remember that brand? I guess they are a hiking type of pants, and these are like just a pair of khakis. Four is going to be here. And this Barbie ladder piece that's here, this tiny little piece from a Barbie house. This is the parting it out thing. Um, I got a bunch of Barbie houses and had extra pieces left over from a pallet and this one sold for $6.85 plus shipping. Really already in the profit, so it'll be about a $5 profit. Sold for $20 and they are actually right here. These are really cool, like a French waiter pattern. So 
the three of them sold for 20. I only paid a couple of dollars for those in a auction lot. So that's gonna be about a $15 profit. Eating suit that sold that's on CC10. So that's down here in this bag. And it's actually just a top. I just looked up brands of the bathing suits that were in the lot. And if the brand sold good, I listed it. And it's actually right here. And it actually still has the tag. It is coastal blue. It is just the top. And this sold over on Facebook Marketplace for $7. And I am pennies into that. So not too bad on that bathing suit top again i've been looking at these bathing suits because it's summer they're selling and this sold in under two weeks so not too bad it actually was only listed on facebook for about a day let's go to the little room there is fat boy out in the yard he's actually doing a little bit better so that's good brad has gotten the carport cleaned some which is nice we have some floor again all right so first in here is going to be these cool cards they are in h4 i believe all the cards at some point were here and here they are. These sold for a whole $4. I'm weighing the profit on these. I got these at an estate sale. I paid like five bucks for all. So this will be about a $3.50 profit. Z6, this Motorola auction. Here is Z6. And it looks like this is it back here. And I got this at a garage sale for a dollar. It sold for a little over 10. So this will be about a $9 profit z1 this little koala so here is z1 and there is a little koala so this little koala i am probably about 50 cents into him and he sold for 9.79 so he's about an eight dollar profit last is a noritake creamer and sugar set that sold for 15 dollars on e3 and it is actually right up front here. I see it. Just a plain brown Noritake Folkstone. I am less than a dollar into these. They sold for a little over 15, so they'll be about a $13 profit. To the shed to pack everything. You ready, buddy? Yeah. You wanna race again? Yeah. Okay, I guess go if you're racing. I'm racing, I'm racing, go. All right, I'll be back in a second after I clean some of this off of the counter. With this lot of Build-A-Bear clothes that sold for $57. So here, the important thing, you can see the size of the tote here, is that they go in a box that's less than 12 by 12 because if we go over 12 by 12, we're gonna be paying oversized shipping and we do not want to do that. So these are not really fragile. I've got my 12 by 12 by 12 box here and I'm just basically going to dump them in here. Ta-da, they fit. There's no need for padding or anything because these aren't breakable. You can see they fit and they're perfect. Now I just, these at seven pounds i might have weighed them i honestly do not remember so let's see what these lovely build-a-bear clothes weigh scale to zero out which it did make sure we're not touching and we have got five pounds 10 ounces so it'll round up to 511 so basically it'll ship out at a i'm tightening the tape there let me show you guys it'll ship out at a six pound rate so these are actually only costing $14 to ship out via USPS. That zip code is 15003. And I'm actually going to set these down because I want the room. This is these vintage cool. And those I will put in a little poly just to protect them. And then we'll slide them into another poly. So basically we're gonna double poly wrap those 
just to protect them. So wrap them up there and put them inside of another poly. And we will fold. Um, these should be under four ounces, let's see. They are 3.3 ounces, so they will go at a four ounce rate. Are going to 76082. So I will get a medium size poly. And let me see if it's going medium male. And it is going medium male, so I can't use any priority supplies or anything like that. But we will put this in here to protect it from the weather. And then actually, I'm just going to double poly. Now, if this was a more expensive book, it's only a $9 book. I would use a box, but because it's just a lower cost book, I'm just going to double poly it. And then this is going to chip really cheap because it is media mail, which does take the longest to get there. So it's cheap, but it takes a while. And this one is going to weigh in at one pound, 12 ounces. So it will go at a two pound rate. Mama. Yes, Dalton. Nothing. What are you doing down there? What are you doing? You look a little sleepy. Eight, four, one, five, seven. Not putting initials today, so hopefully there's no double zip codes on me. This modem will fit in a padded flat rate. That will be the cheapest way. So that is what I am going to grab. Probably not. Maybe, probably not. Yeah, no. So let's see how much it weighs. So I am going to get caught on shipping a little bit here because I only had it at one pound and it is going to be shipping at a two pound rate. I was asked what happens if that happens. Well, what happens is I have to pay because that was my mistake. So there we go. So this is protected in this original box. So I will just slip it into this larger eBay poly, tuck it. And it's probably going to be about one. Yep, it's still 111, losing about two dollars here. And it's going to zip code 03220. Now, I could check pirate ship, but I just don't feel like it today, to be honest with you. And then next is going to be Mama. this little koala unpacking. What are you doing? So, we're going to use an eight by six by four for him which i use these this size a lot and we use them for hats we use them for like these smaller breakables there's that and we'll get the little bubble wrap here and we will wrap this one way and then we're gonna flip it wrap it the other way and I'm actually, I normally do bigger poly. I normally will do the bigger, but I'm actually not going to because I'm going to use some of these peanuts down here to kind of cushion it. So we'll just scoop us up some peanuts. There we go. Kind of nestle him in those peanuts and then I'm gonna use my cup I haven't packed yet that should be enough to cushion it should still be under a pound this one is a first class so with the first class you cannot use those free eBay box or free USPS boxes you've got to use your own that's why we buy these eight by six by four scale is zeroed we are at 13 ounces so and i actually had it at a pound so that is good and we it is going to four five eight four oh be these vertex pants so we are going to try a padded flat rate again 
And we have the one that I tried before here. And let's see if we can make these things fit. Fold them in half. Because these are over a pound, it's actually quite a bit cheaper to stuff them into this padded flat rate envelope. So if you have stuff that's over a pound but will fit, this is your way to go. And those do fit. And they're going to zip code 22314. The creamer and sugar, those are going priority. So I actually will use my number seven box. That's one of my go-tos for breakables. And this time I'm actually going to just pick this box up and we'll pour some like a two inch layer in the bottom. We did use to use peanuts, but if you see these peanuts everywhere, this is why we don't use them anymore. So this is the creamer and I'll tuck some in and then we will wrap, flip it, wrap some more. I see a perforation there. And then we're going to come over here to the big bubble wrap. So we'll just wrap it like once with the big bubble. All right. Now for this one, this is where I was saying when I can flip lids, I do. So like this will flip here nicely, but what I'll do is put one piece of small bubble wrap around here just to protect it. And then I'll set it in like that and then we'll wrap the whole piece. So we don't have to wrap it as three pieces here. Then your knob on the top is also not sticking out. So there is that. And then we'll do the same with the big bubble here. Just wrap it a couple times with the big bubble. What are you doing, dude? And I always tuck those ends in just to give that extra protection. So there is that one. And they're in here and we will just pour peanuts on top of these. A little bit of a mound because you can push it down. But look at all the peanuts everywhere now. This is why we don't use peanuts. I'm going to guess I have these at a two pound rate. So we'll see if I'm under over on that. Zeroed. We'll set them up here. They are almost three pounds, so let's see what I have. They're two pounds, eight ounces, and I have two pounds. That's what I figured. So the buyer paid 11, and at two pounds, eight ounces, we are going to be paying 936. So we are still okay, and they are going to zip code 25425 going to be this little Barbie thing and all I do with these little plastic pieces wrap them a couple times and I throw them into a poly bag because they're pretty sturdy as well American bubble boy because we use a lot of bubble wrap so there is that there's no need to put this in a box it's sturdy we'll just fold it over and it's plastic so no need to double poly it it weighs a whole 4.1 ounces all right there is that and next we have these three mugs seven for these guys as well remember these number sevens are free guys you do not have to pay for these and they're great for a lot of things A couple of inches of peanuts in there and then we will wrap each cup all right so with these mugs 
what we're going to want to do is get the small bubble wrap. And I normally will tuck a bunch into that handle just to give it like a little more protection. And I do stuff inside the mug. And again, same thing. That way we're going to flip it and go this way. We'll wrap it once in big bubble wrap. The Betty Booth there is from Richard Ottman Draw Flips, if you guys have seen him in my tracks. Sit and tuck the sides. We'll put it in here. And then we've got one more to do. I'll do the same way. Three are in here. I do have some little void space. Probably not going to use the peanuts because they're annoying me at the moment. But I do have all this extra newspaper here. So I'll just use that. And fill. And I keep all my paper that I get when I get stuff. What's up? Now this should be probably at four to five pounds would be my guess with three coffee mugs. Because normally they're a little over a pound each. See where we're at. We are at almost four pounds, so not too bad. I had four pounds, so that's perfect. And that is going to be it for eBay. And now we're going to pack the Facebook Marketplace orders really quick. The Coca Pelli mats which will use a big bubble or a big poly. We've got this bikini top and then the fit and base. Poly, I've got a small eBay poly. So the Coca Pelli, it looks like it's first. And I just did some of these yesterday, but they just go inside the poly. Not much danger for these getting wet. They can just be washed if that were to happen. It wouldn't cause any damage. And then we will fold this over. There's no need to weigh these because you put the weight in beforehand on Facebook Marketplace. This one says Coke Pelly. And I'm gonna put that on. And the bikini top here, same thing. It's not gonna get damaged if it gets wet. It's not like a book or something. So I will just fold it, put it in the poly, and it will be done. But really simple with those two placemats and the bikini top. Last for today is going to be this little Fenton vase. Here you can see it's small, and I actually, instead of a 6x4, because it is 4 inches wide, um, or it's eight by six by four. I'm going to actually put this one in an eight by eight because I kind of want equal amounts on each side of it. All right. So with this one, I will do a small bubble and then we will probably use the end of the big bubble. This way, flip it over, do it a couple times this way. And with this one, I'm going to attempt to almost fill the box with the bubble wrap that way I don't need any paper so wrap 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 until the bubble wrap runs out tuck our side so it's not enough what I will do is I've got, and this is actually the end of my spare paper here, is I'll leave it like this because I did wrap it enough and just put the spare paper on the side so it can't move around too much. And that is that. So it's helpful for you guys. Um, if you like these shipping videos, let me know. I know if you're new, that's one of the most difficult things and yeah i enjoyed sharing this with you guys i will see you guys tomorrow hope you're having a good week